Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will see a one more concept in operating system that is a structure of a page table. So in our previous session, we have seen what is a page table and what are the page table entries, right? So in that we have seen the page table can be structured in three ways. One is a hierarchical, next a hashed page table or inverted page table. So in this session, we will concentrate on first way to structure the page table that is hierarchical page table. So without delay, we let us start. Hierarchical page table. So this hierarchical page table is also known as multi-level page table. Also known as multi-level page table. So, as the name itself indicates, see this page table can be represented in different levels, okay, different levels. So, that can be a two level, three level, four level. So, before going to that, let us see what exactly happens in a one level. That means a basic, right? So, we have said that there will be a CPU which will be uh, generating the logical address. So, in this logical address, it will be having, so this is a logical address. It will be having two parts one is a page number another one is a displacement or offset okay the location of the instruction now this page number will be referencing the page table right so this is a page table so which will be having a lot of entries and here from here they will be having a frame number corresponding frame number so this frame number will give so getting the frame number plus getting this particular offset or displacement which will give the entry in physical memory so this is the physical memory right this is a physical memory so this is the logical address we are getting the logical sorry sorry this is a physical address sorry so this is a physical address so adding of the frame number plus a displacement and here the page number plus displacement is the logical address so this is the normal way you are having so how may so here the question is the page number and a displacement the logical address is given as a page number and displacement for example this logical address can be represented with 32 bits 32 bits and see the page size the page size is uh, some 4 kb so 4 kb means so here we are representing it bits so we need to represent this also so 2 power 12 bits okay so here displacement what we are saying it is a displacement or offset whatever it may be so this is the location of the instruction okay which instruction page instruction so process can be divided into different pages pg1 pg2 and so on pgn and every page will be having different instructions offset d1 d2 d3 and so on dn so every page is of size 4kb that means a page can will can hold a different locations like 2 power 12 bits that means 2 power 12 locations for example see the address is 32 bits the address is of 32 bit so this is a 32 bit so in the 32 bit 12 bits see this 12 bits are representing this page offset so that means d so which is of 12 bits what about the remaining page pages how many pages we can load so obviously 32 minus 12 so 20 bits are representing the pages 20 bits representing the pages so that implies 2 power 20 pages can be loaded okay see logical address is represented in 32 bits so i am saying it as a maximum okay so 
if the page size is of 4 kb page size okay not a process page process will be divided into pages and now the page size is of 4 kb that means 2 power 12 bits so that means 12 bits let us let us assume 12 bits to represent a page locations a different locations of a page so the 12 bits will be representing the instructions or offset we are saying and among the 32 bit if you take 12 bits to represent the uh, displacement or uh, offset remaining 20 bits are representing the pages 20 bits are representing the pages so a maximum of it can represent 220 pages okay 240 pages so if if the logical address is 32 bit how many how many pages can be represented 2 power 20 pages can be there that implies 2 power 20 entries should be there 2 power 20 entries in the page table so imagine this page table will be having see uh, uh, the page table is having 2 2 power 20 entries starting from 0 this is 2 power 20 minus 1 because we start with 0 so this many entries should be there in a page table and every page will be again representing a different uh, locations that is a 2 power 0 to 2 power 12 minus 1 so these many entries will be there for each and every pig so imagine this is only for a one process and we are saying that every process will be having a different page tables their own page tables every process will be having a different page tables for example two processes are there p1 and p2 so p1 will be having a 2 power 20 entries if the size is this in, in this way p2 again it, it will be having its own page table with a 2 power 20 entries so imagine that 2 power 20 entries means more than 1 million 10 lakh okay more than a 10 lakh million means uh, 10 lakh so more than 1 billion means uh, more than 10 lakh entries should be there in each process okay in each process so automatically in order to generate the physical address for from this logical address it will be definitely a memory overhead okay it's a very complex very complex okay so one drawback is complex too much complex in order to generate and retrieve the data and the second important problem arises here is it is very difficult to store a one page table with a contiguous memory locations obviously the page table means we will be having a contiguous memory location so imagine that here we are having a 10 lakh entries so 10 lakh memory location should be there that too in a contiguous manner so that is very difficult so difficult to store contiguous memory locations so these two are uh, most disadvantages of having the single page table okay one is a complex because we have seen here almost 10 more than 10 lakh uh, uh, yes more than 10 lakh entries will be there not one lakh more than 10 lakh entries will be there and the second one so finding the contiguous memories for the 10 lakh entries is difficult this is not only for one process if you are uh, executing multiple processes because we all these we are discussing about the multiprocessing right so if we are having a three process or four process that many lack of entries should be available so in order to avoid these difficulties we are moving with the hierarchical page table and we are also calling it as a multi-level page table so in this multi-level page table what we are doing is so the displacement or offset is same so here the displacement or offset is same right so i'm erasing this one what we are doing so this displacement is same we are not disturbing it displacement with a 12 bit representation and coming to the page page representation we are dividing that into two parts let it be pg1 and pg2 right so let it be this represents a 10 bit and this is also 10 bit 
okay two pages that means a two page tables we are creating a two page tables so this is called outer page table outer page table so what will be available in this outer page table means all the the index of all the remaining page table okay all the index of remaining page tables so here one page table for example let us uh, have this one so 10 bits means it will be uh, 0 to uh, i think 2 power uh, 10 minus 1 so which it will be 1023 for example okay this many entries now you can see we are dividing the complete 10 lakh entries to 1000 entries and what happens means this zero will be pointing towards one page table one page table from 0 to 1023 and this one will be pointing towards a, another page table which is 0 to 1023 because the second one is also 10 bit and the third one will also be representing i mean pointing towards the so this is zero hope you understood so like this one zero two three tables the outer page table will be representing one zero two three tables okay the base address of one zero two three tables not all that the base address of this one right the base address of this table will be stored at zero and the base address of this table will be stored at one the base address of this page table will be stored at here so this is the outer page table this is the outer page table hope you understood so it will be representing the actual offset okay it will be representing the actual offset and a frame number which gives the physical address so this this is the two level okay because here we are using a two page tables one is the outer another one is the inner page table so this is a two level so even it can be decomposed into three level okay we will be taking three levels the first level that means outermost page level will be referencing the addresses of the remaining page tables and the remaining page tables will be referencing the addresses of another page tables where the actual frame will be available so that can be done based upon the complexity okay we can reduce it we can reduce it and see Previously, how page table will be having 10 lakh entries and we are supposed to store all the 10 lakh entries in the contiguous memory locations in the primary memory. But here, it requires only 1023 contiguous memory. So, here also all the page tables will be residing in the primary memory. But here what happens means the contiguous memory locations means only 1024 contiguous memory locations are needed. So, in the primary memory, wherever, wherever there is a, uh, a space or free space of 1024 entries, so there one table can be accessed. So, that particular base address will be represented in this outer page table. So, hope you understood, right? So, we are reducing the number of entries of a page table. So, the page table is decomposed into multiple levels okay and outer page table will be referencing only the base address of other page tables that is most important yes now what happened see instead of going here this will be so this is the outer page table outer page table this will be referencing one more page table okay and from here we will be getting the frame number see here how we are getting means the base address of this outer page table see remember uh, this outer page table base address okay base address will be stored in ptbr ptbr means a page table base register page table base register okay page table base register sorry 
so page table base register will be having the address the base address of outer table so this will be added to this page so that it will be referencing to this one and coming to here so here uh, we need to divide it into two categories so pg1 pg2 and displacement so let us be more clear okay now here it gives the base address of the inner page table okay inner page table base address a base address of inner page table so how can we get the exact location here so this page 2 address will be added to this so that it will get the exact location of the frame okay exact location of the frame hope you understood from here we will be getting the frame number and here the displacement and the frame number will be added to get the logical address okay see hope you understood the page table will be divided into multiple levels right so outer page table will be having only the base addresses of another page tables so here the page one the page one location will be added to the base address because these are all the locations okay so that will be added to the ptbr P -P ptbr means a page table base register a page table base register so which will be holding the address of the the starting address okay the starting address of the outer page table so that will be added to get the exact location of the page number so from this page number again we are adding so here for example it is a 2000 that is a base address of the next table so in that next table where what is the exact location of the required page means so this 2000 should be added to the location which we are giving in the logical address pg2 so that gives the exact location here so from that we are getting the actual frame number so actual frame numbers will be available in this particular inner page table so this is called as a two level paging two level page so depends upon the complexity if you want to decompose more the logical address so this logical address will be divided into three pages okay so three parts it will be divided into three parts so pg1 pg2 pg3 and displacement pg1 will be having the addresses of pg2 pg2 will be having the addresses of pg3 and pg3 will be having the exact frame numbers it will give the exact frame numbers all right so hope you understood so previously the main goal of moving on this hierarchical page table means reducing the number of entries of a page table so in order to uh, reduce the memory overhead okay so instead of searching and retrieving from the 10 lakhs of entries so we are reducing into levels right so hope you understood the, this hierarchical page table which is also called as a multi-level page table and this example we call it as a two-level paging right so hope uh, you understood this uh, hierarchical page table and uh, if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much